Hi guys. Decided to challenge ourselves today. This one's going to be quite the challenge. It's called Stars with a Z. Nobody else has done a video on it yet. Um, it's done by Henny Brower and it's got a bit of a challenge to it. So first thing we want to do 100% this time is we need to have ourselves a pencil grid and a fairly small scale pencil grid. Okay. Then we're going to do a line across over two squares and then skip two and then a line and skip two. Okay. And then we have to find that four square again. Cause see that's the like the middle of a four square. We're going to go down. We're going to find the middle of this four square. We're going to skip this one. We're going to do here, skip that one, do here. And then again, find that middle of that four square, do this line, skip this line. And then here we're going to skip that one, do that one, skip that one, do that one. That's going to be the challenge is to make sure we're not on the wrong place. And I, when I have a challenging one like this, um, I am probably going to do a little bit of pencil planning first. Besides just the pencil grid, I am probably going to figure out these spacings first so that when I come in with the ink, I don't get on the wrong line. Like I don't go here because that'll just goof it all up. So basically we're looking at these squares and then those squares are then cut in half. It almost, to me, will be almost easier, I think, to do a bigger grid and to just do this line in the middle of each block. That might actually be easier for me to pay attention to than all the small squares. So I've just already decided that that is going to be easier in my head. So then in this block, we've done the middle of there, right? So in this block, now we're going to go the other way. All those ones that we skipped, we're going to go the other way, right in the middle. So that we have a line this way, this way, this way, this way, right in the middle of your squares. Then this is where I'm going to have to think long and hard. I think we're going to connect this one here. So we're going to make like a Z and connect this one to there. Here's that. We're going to connect this one to there. Make like a Z. Do that on all the, this shape and make a Z like that. Okay. And then we turn it or do it the other direction and we make a Z going the other way. So if we're going to have this one and go Z like that, if that makes any sense, it's a little complicated. And then around these edges, I might not want it like that. So I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. That's why I think I want to plan it out in pencil first before I draw it in pen. I do like her artwork. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So let's, let's just start with by making ourselves a grid and see what happens. I'm going to really study this this time. Let me put my phone up, prop it up so that I can see it really good. Turn on my light so we get rid of all the shadows. Zoom out a bit because I did pick a larger piece of paper um, in order to kind of do this grid bigger. Sometimes, especially with a more complicated one, I like to start a little bit bigger. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I want to find the cor the center of this page. Okay, 
So now I want my middle piece to be right there. And my middle piece to be right here. Now I'm going to make my squares. Try not to draw too dark, but I want it dark enough so you guys can see it. I really don't want to draw too terribly dark. Same going the other way. I really like this um, clear ruler. I think I'm going to put myself a, a different clear ruler on my Christmas list though because I want one that's a little bigger. This one's only eight inches and sometimes and I want one with different grids or something on it. Maybe I'll have to go looking. Um, Maybe some, some some sort of architecture drawing ruler thing that has a little bit more markings so that I can I can see through it, but I can um, have a different scale than what I'm using now. Because right now I'm just using this. I don't even know what this measurement is, but I'm using that as the guideline because I have this nice, lovely line I can I can use to make it even, to make a nice even squares. But sometimes I don't want to be that size. You know what I mean? Okay. So, let's think about this. I'm going to go ahead and only go to here, maybe? With my design. So, this last bit is not part of... Erase those like that. Okay, so I have a border, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that that ought to do it. So I'm going to just plan out where I want to draw these lines. I want to draw middle here, skip one, middle here, skip one, middle here, skip one. And then opposite here. We're going to skip this one. Middle here, skip one. Middle here, skip one. Middle here. And middle there, skip one. Middle there, skip one. Like that. So every other one gets one of these. That is good. Perfect. Like that. Can you guys even see that? Can I zoom in a little bit? Okay. And then we're going to go the other way. And I'm just doing them gently with the pencil. Um, I know I'm not being super accurate. I will be more accurate with my comeback with the pen. But this is one of those complicated ones and I really want to plan it out with a pencil first. Okay. Now. To connect. I want to connect. Here and here to make that Z shape. So halfway here and here. Halfway here and here. So here and here. Here and here. Here and here. And then here and here. Here and here, here and here. Right 
right? What I'm doing is because I want to, I want my edges to not like cut off. And so I want to plan that spacing here and here. Okay, and then here, and it'll be about half there. Here, and about half there. Here, and about half there. Okay, and then turn it and go the other way. So here, and here. Here, and here. Here, and here. It just automatically creates that star shape. Uh, here and here. Here and here. Here and here. It's fairly simple to do. It looked more complicated than it actually is, which is cool. Okay, so now around the edges, I want to get rid of the parts I don't want. I want a full star. Can you see where I'm getting rid of? I like the whole star. But see, I don't want this half a star. So I'm going to erase that. I'm not going to draw that part. So it's just around the edge where I'm kind of like stopping the pattern. Um, that. Get rid of that and that. like a quilt pattern for sure okay okay now we can just draw it and I'm still going to draw it in the order so let's pretend that these squares are still here. You'll still see that one and that one. I over I over erased. erased okay okay do you see my squares Zoom back out you see my squares you got my grid right so I'm going to not do this outside edge yet so that you can see the pattern do that Doing the outside edge. Out. Not doing the outside edge. And I'm going to turn it on this inside. Do that and that.
I didn't do this one. Are you yelling at me? Like so. And then the Z shape, which is this and this. This one. And then this one. And then this one. And then this one. And then turn it, and then do this one. See, it makes a Z. And then this one. And then this one. And then this one. Got a little lost there for a second. This straight goes that way, so we want to go this way and this way. Making that Z shape. And then there's the straight one, so we want to go this way and this way. And the straight one going this way and that way. And the straight one going this way and this way. Okay, and then I want to finish the outside. I'm going to continue that pattern. So I want to do this one and this one. And turn it and go that one and that one. Do this edge. It's going to go this one and that one. Turn it. It's going to go that one and that one. And then this one is going to go this one and that one. And turn it. That one and that one. And that one and that one. And then do that Z shape again. I just don't want to go out where I shouldn't go. So I don't want to do this one, but I do want to do this part. Don't want to do that, but I want to do that. And I'm going to turn it. This one gets this one and this one. This one gets this one and that one. And this one just gets this one. This one gets this one and this one, and that one and that one, and that one, and then I can turn it, and I can do this one and that 
on. So not going to go that way, but it's going to go this way. It's going to go that way. And I'm going to turn it and I'm going to go this see. That one and that one. That one and that one. And we'll go ahead and do that. That one and that one. That one and that one. That one. And turn. Go this one and that one. There. That's awesome. I love that. Okay, so that's our base pattern. Now we can erase all of our pencil guidelines. And now we can think about embellishment or shading, or whatever else we want to do to these. But that's our base pattern. Okay, that's cool. Um, I do like how on the sample, the these ones have some weight. So the weight goes, I'm gonna give it some weight, but I wanna go, how do I wanna go? I'm going to go on this, which side of the line do I want to go on? This side of the line where the box is, I'm going to start here and I'm going to go a little bit fatter there, like that. A bit paradox like with that. Okay, I like that. I like that look. So let's do that the rest of the way.
Okay. Do we like that? I think so. Maybe. That's different than what the sample was. Sample had the these lines being the fatter lines. That's okay. I don't have to be the same, now do I? No, I do not. I need to go shopping. Not today. I have a gift card that I got from back from when I had my birthday, which has been a while back. But um, I haven't used it yet. I'm thinking maybe I should buy myself a new Probably not in a whole new outfit for um, the upcoming wedding, but just a nice new blouse to go with that matches the uh, wedding colors. Um, I've been I've been uh, asked if I would be the uh, official wedding photographer, which kind of makes me nervous. I don't mind taking pictures. I take pictures all the time of events at church and whatever, but um kind of does make me nervous that I'm going to be their only source of photos for their wedding. Ugh. Yeah. Makes me nervous cuz wedding photos are so important. I know that that this couple that's getting married are very chill, very relaxed, very, you know, not those kind of people. But I also know that, you know, it is so important later on to have those photos, those memories. And other people might want the pictures more than they do. They, they, they're not that kind. They're not like, uh, let's post our whole lives on Instagram kind of kids. They're not. They're very private. Um, so photos don't seem to be their, their big thing anyways, but I'm starting to, starting to stress a little. Make sure I've got, you know, pictures with Mom and Dad and Grandma and Grandpa and all that stuff. I just want it to be perfect for them. I think it's funny that we seem to be, uh, my husband and I and, and our good friends, the, the parents of the groom, seem to be more nervous and anxious about this wedding than than the bride and groom are. But that's okay. Like I said, they're not that they're not that kind of people. It takes all kinds to be an interesting mixture of of humans if we were all the same life would be boring we don't have to all think the same we don't have to all have the same um, beliefs and values we don't have to have all the same likes um, okay. 
in, in this world where it seems to all of a sudden be to be not okay. I, I don't understand that that maybe this this is something you guys can help me figure out because I don't really I seriously don't understand um, it's important for some groups for that that um, that we be diverse and that we embrace diversity and yet at the same time those same groups are saying we all have to react and be and and do exactly the same behaviors toward these diverse groups. Um, I don't I don't want to pick on a particular group because it seems to be happening for all groups. Um, let's say, for example, that we have a group of people who um, embrace uh, number two pencils? Let's 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 go with something that's that's completely not a thing right now. Let's say we have a group of people who 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 embrace number two pencils. Number two pencils are their life. Th that's that's what they do. They want to really encourage people to totally use number two pencils, and that nothing else is is acceptable in their life. Only a number two pencil, you know. And that's awesome for them, but then they turn around and say because number two pencils are the best and you, I only use a number two pencil and I won't use a 6B or a 5H pencil that we now, nobody should. Now we, now we need to ban all pencils that are not a number two pencil. And we need to, um, humiliate and deride people who choose to use something else. That's what's happening in the world today with a variety of groups, whether they be sexual or political or uh, ethnic. We're saying, you know, we have to have diversity and yet at the same time everybody has to think exactly the same. And I just don't get it. I want to embrace diversity. I want to embrace the rainbow of people. I want to embrace the people who like browns and greens and reds and yellows and blues. I want to embrace the people who like hard pencils and soft pencils and, and pencils in between or don't like pencil at all and prefer pen. I want to embrace people. And I don't understand when people don't want to embrace each other and everybody has to think the same. You know, lots of times I think to myself, would I do such and such that way? And the answer would be no, I would not do such and such that way. But uh, is what that person doing immoral or illegal? No, it's just their personal preference. And I need to um, say, you know what? That's okay. It's not what I would do, but you know what? You do you, boo-boo. And why people get so bent out of shape all of a sudden for when people are not the same. I don't get it. I mean, I'm from a certain ethnic and cultural background. It's who I am. It's who my parents were. It's who my grandparents were. It's, it's part of the world where I come from. But I certainly shouldn't expect that everybody should be 
embracing that same culture because that's not who they are. You know what I mean? I mean, we can't expect people from from Sweden to like and be the same as people from um, Germany or from North Africa or from Australia or from Thailand. I mean, I just don't get it. Everybody has to be the same. They can't be different. And yet at the same time, we say, oh, well, our cities are culturally diverse and we have a mixture of, of, of languages and we have a mixture of, 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 um, of, uh, foods and that it's all, uh, culturally diverse. And yet at the same time, those who have an opinion or a thought differently from you is, is unacceptable. And I just don't get it. Just don't get it. I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss. Really don't get it. Oops. I missed a, I missed a, missed a spot. So if you get it, can you explain it to me? Because I just don't get it. Missed another one. Ooh, I don't want that scratch there. I like these stars. These are fun. See, if I was to try to come up with the step out for this particular pattern, I might, I probably wouldn't have started the way uh, Henny started with this pattern. And I think it was a brilliant way to start, but I probably wouldn't have even seen that. I wouldn't have seen the Z. I would have seen maybe squares first or something, and I would have made it much more complicated. But I think that's probably what I would have seen first. I, m my brain would have processed if I was to, to deconstruct this pattern, I didn't know how to draw it. The first thing I would have seen would have been these squares. I would have made a row of squares with a space and then connected those squares with this line. That's how I would have seen the pattern. So it's interesting how everybody has a different view on um, how to deconstruct a pattern. I need to put my, need to sign it. I think I'm done. Very simple, simple yet complex. Does that make sense? I'm gonna sign out and I wanna put S-T-A-R See, there's the name. 
There we go. All right, you guys, tell me uh, in the just in the comment box um, what you think about uh, being diverse and yet requiring everybody to be the same. It's 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 a quandary, isn't it? Uh, you guys have a great day. Go out and do something nice for someone today. I'm gonna zoom in just a nudge there. Awesome. Stop wiggling. Okay. You guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Um, do something nice for someone today. Let's make the world a better place and let's stop being, you know, making everybody be just like us because that would be boring, really would. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.